Team Minions presents Management 101. Our television show is based on a movie we all know and love, Despicable Me. We decided to focus our storyline around Gru and his minions opening a cupcake shop. We felt that this story is easily related to and understood by people of all ages. Throughout the different episodes, we'll show our audience different events that occur within a team. We'll show the mistakes that are made as well as their successes. So please sit back and enjoy our show. Our television show will have five characters. The first character is Gru. He's the store manager. He is self-absorbed, a poor leader, preoccupied with his own personal business, has poor communication skills, is always angry and very demanding of his minions. And then there's the four minions. The first one being Dave. He's a natural born leader. He loves to communicate. He's very respectful and enthusiastic about his job. He's open-minded and resourceful, very organized and always consistent. And then there's Carl, who's dependable, has a good attitude, He's also motivated, gets along well with others, but he's gullible, naive, and way too trusting. Kevin is very untrusting. He's suspicious, paranoid, nosy, and willing to throw any of the other minions under the bus when it's convenient for him. And then there's Purple Minion. He is lazy, disengaged, irresponsible, distracted, rebellious, and consistently causing trouble for everybody. Here I'm going to give you the who, what, where, when, and how of our television show, Management 101. The who is anyone in the working class, 15 to 35 years old, we'd say. The what is Gru managing a group of minions to make cupcakes to sell in their shop. Where is the Gru's cupcake shop, Bake My Day. When, a few days prior to the opening of the cupcake shop, ending with the ribbon cutting at the grand opening. And how... Gru is not providing a lot of direction in the beginning and things are a mess. Then Gru steps up, the team comes together, and everything ends on a high note. Now we're going to give you an overview of all of our episodes. If you look in the top left corner, there's also a link to our script, as well as at the bottom of each summary, there is a link to the YouTube channel where you can watch that episode. Now for the summaries. Episode 1. It is basically an introduction of everything relating to the TV show. Um, the setting, scene, characters, and an overview of the plot and storyline. We'll also discuss management themes and conflict as well as details about our target market. Episode 2 is when we really get into the story. Gru has opened his cupcake shop with the minions, and Gru pretty much just comes in, barks orders, and leaves without giving any directions on how to accomplish the task. So since the minions are lacking direction, they proceed to try and figure things out on their own, and everything starts to go haywire. In Episode 3, the minions realize they need help, so they go to Gru's office to try and obtain some guidance from him. He is clearly distracted by personal business, and he just dismisses the minions without a second thought. Feeling defeated, they once again return to the kitchen with even less motivation. Episode 4 is where the yellow minions are obviously trying to figure things out on their own. While they're trying to come up with solutions, the purple minion is running around causing trouble. Gru comes into the kitchen and yells at the minions when he sees the complete chaos that has ensued. He storms back to his office without offering any assistance or direction. In episode 5, this is where disaster strikes. The minions have no idea what they are doing and things are a mess. Each one of them are working on things individually and not as a collective team. They are all going in different directions and not communicating with each other. In episode 6, the minions begin to bicker back and forth between each other, and they begin to make their way to Gru's office. Their goal is to talk to him about his lack of direction and support and see if he'd be willing to give them better guidance. 
Before they can get a single word in, Gru begins yelling at them and tells them to get out of his office. This time when the minion leads, something inside him clicks and he begins to think about his actions. Episode 7 is when things really begin to turn around. Gru does some self-reflecting, and he realizes he has been the root of the problem all along. He hasn't been providing any leadership or directions, which in turn has caused chaos to ensue and tension to build between his employees. When Once he realizes it's his responsibility to get things back on track, he steps in and provides the direction and leadership that's been lacking. The minions are so grateful and things finally start to come together. With everyone working together, progress is finally being made. In episode 8, things have finally come together full circle. Minions have been working hard as a team and the cupcakes have been baked. To reward his team, Gru lets the minions leave early to relax before the grand opening the next day. The next day, Groot shows his appreciation by having the minions cut the ribbon with him to celebrate the opening of Bake My Day and welcome in their anxious guests. As you can see at the very bottom, we have the full TV show playlist, and if you want to click on the link, you'll be able to watch all of our shows one right after the other. Here we have outlined each of the conflicts in each of the episodes. In episode 2, there was a lack of informational management. Episode 3, lack of interpersonal skills. Episode 4, lack of direction. Episode 5, communication conflicts. Episode 6, you begin to see conflict resolution. Episode 7, there was organizing. And in episode 8, management environment, managerial ethics, reward, and recognition. Here you will see each of our individual reflections. On this slide, Emily, Jessica, and Sabrina outlined what they thought about the project and the different assignments they were responsible for. On this page, Justin, Nicole, and Ashley gave their reflections on the different things that they were responsible for and what they thought overall of this project. The recommendation section is where each of us gave our recommendations on how we thought things could be improved. On this page, Jessica, Emily, and Sabrina each outlined exactly what they thought was wrong and a better way that they, it could be handled in the future. On this slide, Justin, Nicole, and Ashley gave their recommendations on how they felt different things could be improved. Overall, we all seem to be in agreement on our reflections and in our recommendations. The reflections it was difficult at times working together as a team, considering we are our online students and our schedules all conflicted, but we found a way to make it work, splitting up the tasks, splitting up the meetings, and all of our recommendations seem to be around the same. It would be just to have better organization for the course, outlining due dates, etc. From Sabrina, Jessica, Justin, Nicole, Ashley, and Emily, we thank you for watching our Management 101 television show. We had a great time doing this and we really hope you enjoyed it.